Hey guys, so I'm back. Sorry it's been a while. Uh, had a long semester. I literally just got back from my LSAT exam. Six hours of fun. But anyways, I'm back and I picked up a new amp while I was gone. I got this little guy right here. Um, this is the Esteban amp that comes in that package deal. I don't know if you guys have seen the infomercials uh, that come around every Christmas. Esteban's this really awesome finger picking guitar player and he has this package with a guitar and an amp. Um, I picked this guy up for 10 bucks. Figured for 10 bucks, why not? And I figured I'd do a review of it. Um, this is not the guitar that comes with it, it's only the amp. This guitar is a Washburn House of the Blues special edition. It's Streadnought style, I think it sounds pretty good. But just to let you know, I'm also running a Fishman pickup out the back. So let's take a look and uh, see how it goes. So here's this little guy. It's, uh, it's got a tiny speaker, but it's good looking, pretty cool. Let's take a look at the input. So what it's got is an input right here, the master, and then it's got an overdrive push. So you push it in, kick in overdrive, click it out to go back. Two band EQ, treble and bass. I've got the treble running at four, bass running at six. And then it has headphones, which is kind of nice. It's not that loud of an amp, but it can get loud when you turn the gain on. Uh, it is close back, but it once again, it's a fairly small speaker. Anyways, let's give it a shot. It should be fun. One more thing. Here's House of the Blues, my guitar. Uh, it's kind of nice. It's a Dreadnought style. And then I have the Fishman in the sound hole. Let's do it. Well, let's start with the clean tone. to the game. Uh, the one thing I want to say to you is there is no foot switch for the game and it doesn't have a knob. It sounds good but the discrepancy between the volumes of clean and the overdriver gain is pretty big. Like here it is with just five on the amp and me strumming the chord. That's clean. When you uh, put the gain on significantly louder. But, let's give it a shot. It might still sound good. Okay, so let's run it clean.
So I was recently with a student and we were covering pull-offs and hammer-ons and I came up with this kind of cool riff exercise thing. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Overall, I, I think it's a pretty good amp. For 10 bucks, you, you can't go wrong. It's a great practice amp. The cleans and the gain, they sound pretty good totally. Um, my only problem is it's a very dry amp. When you're, you're playing a note and you stop the note, it's you're done. There's no reverb on it. Uh, it could benefit from running a chorus pedal, reverb pedal, echo pedal through the front of it. I think it would be pretty good. <laughs> but... Other than that, it's a pretty great amp, and for the money, I'd do it, if you need a practice amp. Anyways, sorry I've been gone so long, I hope to be doing more videos more regularly in the future. Anyways, see you later.